Hello everybody, this is Harry. Welcome back to a new video. Today's video is going to be annotated from two home movies which I posted in 2016. I am editing the videos to put them all together in the way that you can see the rides because some of them were put in the back of the video and so it's easier to move them when you see them in the all same area where they were or currently still are. So I hope you enjoy this because I've been editing it all day so far and I will probably be able to get it posted later tonight. So you'll be seeing it right now or maybe in the next few days. Uh, my editing skills have gotten better and so that's why I'm able to do it now. So I really look forward to being able to complete and post it. Um, so in the future, if I decide to redo it again, it'll be just because I'm better at editing, but uh, I've been able to figure out how to pause videos and add stuff to it and all kinds of good stuff, splicing things together. Now the two home movies uh, that I have been editing are uh, one that's from June of 1975 and the other is from August of 75. Now the video from August of 75 is pretty rough because it was a very gray cloudy kind of day, whereas the one from June, it was a much nicer day. So the one from August will have much darker images, but that file is only roughly about a minute and a half long anyway. Uh, it has a few things that I want to show off of that that weren't in the June video. Otherwise, the rest is all from the June video. I'll have links in the description about those two videos. So that way you can rewatch them in the correct order. I did reduce some of them because uh, like for the monster, it's a pretty long video just for that. So I edited them down to make them shorter. As I said, I rearranged it a bit because like uh, for some of the rides, like the Scrambler, uh, that was towards the end of the video and I thought it would be better to move it to the front of the video. So with that being said, if you want to watch the original versions, which I posted last year, the links will be in the description below. Other than that, let me know what you think about this video and you can just put them in the comments below or leave them on my Facebook page. Until then, I hope you enjoy this video.
On the bottom right of the screen, you can see a little blue bar. That is the Mini Comet Hershey Park's first kiddie coaster. It was installed in Comet Hollow in 1974 and remained in that location through the end of this season. Hershey Park relocated it to the hill where the whip had been. It had been retired after the end of the 75 season. So the Mini Comet remained in that general location through the 1978 season when it was removed from the park. What you see here is one of the two Twin Tower toboggans which operated in Hershey Park from May 7, 1972 to October 2, 1977. These are the third and fourth roller coasters Hershey Park ever installed and at the time of their installation were the second and third in the park along with the Comet. The Twin Towers toboggans were manufactured by Chance Rides and in 1977 these rides were sold to Mike Safey of San Salvador, El Salvador. He then operated the twin rides as part of a traveling carnival in Central and South America. One of these two burned down and the other one continues to operate today according to Chance Rides. These are the Twin Towers Toboggans, a very unique ride of which only a few continue to operate to this day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe! If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching.